Today we shall try creating shadows using dodge and burn and other tools in the free Snapseed app. To create shadows first I need to add a light source. In this image I am going to try adding it here around this right corner. To add that first I am going to use the vintage filter and select preset 12. Now try to make the image darker by setting the vignette strength to the maximum. And also increasing the style strength to about 70. Then with masking, tapping the stacks icon here, view edits, vintage and brush. Here with the effect enabled and the brush value at zero, I will remove the effect on the part where the light source is needed. Also removing the effect on the foreground. Zooming out to get a nice short feather. Next select two filters, couple here to make the sky around the hill more dark. One for the light source where I'm gonna make that part more brighter. And one in the sky to reduce the saturation of the blues. Now for the major part of dodge and burn with the brush tool. The positive values are for dodging or brightening and the negatives for burning or darkening. Eraser is for removing the effect. First I'm gonna try darkening to create shadows. I normally don't prefer brushing with value 10 as the effect is too much with a single brush stroke. I wish it had increments of 1 but as the minimum setting is 5 that is the best option here. So with the value set at minus 5, I'm gonna do some burning on the parts where I need shadows. As we now know the source of light, we can also guess where the shadows should be. So brushing on the parts where the shadows need to be added. Keep note that the more you brush, the more darker it becomes. You can toggle the eye icon here to see where you have applied the brush. Now increasing the brush value to plus 5 for dodging, that is brightening. Making the brighter parts more bright where the sunlight will be directly hitting. If you feel you overdid it, you can set the value to eraser and brush it out and rework again. For further tuning, I can always come back later. Next with curves, I'm gonna manually apply some hot contrast to make the image pop.
now tuning the temperature and tint to give the image an evening look. Next, to selectively apply more light to the light source, I am going to increase the brightness and add more warmth. Maybe decrease highlights. We will leave it as it is. Then with masking, applying it on the light source with various levels of transparency to a soft feather selection. Going back to the brush tool for more tuning the lights and the shadows. So the changes here after each edit and the final output. Thanks for watching.